So BMR's billet aluminum vertical links we're working with today are a great option for the S550 owners out there that are looking to cut down on that wheel hop and traction loss. But we're all accustomed to it, either just getting off the line or just pulling out onto a road a little bit spiritedly. Installation wise here, guys, expect a fairly straightforward one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here, but a two hour job of basic hand tools. We're gonna show you how coming up soon. So the stock components on the Mustang are geared towards comfort over performance and put simply, they just weren't designed for the driver that wants the most traction possible. Instability and flex under load is something that's inherent in any car. So the team down at BMR saw plenty of opportunity to address that. Now, they've had great success with their vertical links across the Mustangs many generations. And this kit will easily improve your S550's launches, your 60 foots, and just make the car feel that much better on the streets but taking that flexibility out of your suspension may not be the best choice if you're looking for more comfort over performance as these will be stronger and stiffer. But with that said, if you take a look at our customer reviews back on the website, you're gonna see that there are plenty of five-star ratings, lots of talk about the rear finally feeling planted like it should be, but no mentions of poor ride quality or discomfort. So now that you know why you might wanna get these onto your car and the benefits, what they're gonna provide, let's take a look at how the team down at BMR was able to achieve this. And first and foremost, we're gonna hit the bushings. So the bushings here are one of two main key components. They're gonna get you where you need to be and put simply, they're vital. Now I say that because the stock rubber bushings deflect and they cause excessive flex. That results in sloppy traction and handling out back. So the links use a combination of Delrin bushings and spherical bearings. Now the bushings are manufactured from a high quality material that features a low coefficient of friction, basically meaning that they're not gonna grind and rub or wear down quickly, but they're still considerably stiffer than your soft factory bushings. Now Delrin bushings are ideal because they're gonna work hand in hand with the spherical bearings on the links. These links feature Chromoly Teflon lined heavy duty upper spherical bearings that are designed to stand up to high loads while offering bind-free suspension articulation. Now, this all basically means that you'll get the stiffness and the planted tires you want without the vertical links themselves getting caught up or causing your lower control arms to get stuck or punched around. Now, in terms of the links themselves, these are manufactured in the US from CNC machined aircraft grade 6061 billet aluminum. It's gonna be for strength and weight savings, and then they're gonna be completed in a black anodized finish, which is gonna help cut down on corrosion. So in terms of the price in here, expect to be spending just over 200 bucks for these and for the on-road and track benefits, they're a must to keep your rear end on the ground where it belongs. Now looking around, you are gonna see there's a few other options out there from SR, Full Tilt Boogie, and some of the main differences are gonna be build quality, the bushing type, and whether or not they're gonna be adjustable like Full Tilt setup, which will be on-car adjustable. Switching gears to the install, like I said before, you're not looking at anything crazy here. This is gonna call for an easy, but an involved one out of three wrenches and difficulty meter here. About a two hour job only needing a jack and stands and a basic socket set. So you're gonna get started by getting your rear end off the ground and then get your stands in place underneath your cradle. Using an 18 millimeter wrench, remove the lower bolt on the vertical link followed by the top bolt using a 15 millimeter wrench and then remove the link. Now get your new BMR link in place using the factory bolt and the BMR supplied upper bolt and washer and use that 19 millimeter wrench to tighten the new bolt down. You're gonna to wanna to torque the lower to about 129 foot-pounds and the upper to about 81. Repeat the process on the opposite side, and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my quick review of BMR's billet aluminum vertical links with the Delrin bushings and spherical bearings fitting the 2015 through 2017 Mustang. That can be found right here at AmericanMuscle.com.